Okay, I'm gonna show you how to prep the failure box so that it's ready to go when you need to intubate somebody. First thing is we're gonna create some extra vapor barrier using regular cling wrap. So we'll take some cling wrap, wrap it around this edge here, and we'll come around, covering up the armholes. We'll go just once or twice around maybe, depending on how much material you want. Make sure to cover this top edge here. Okay, so now with the cling wrap in place, we've created seals over top of the armholes, and we've also created a seal back here where the patient will go. So when you place this over top of the patient, um, you're gonna create a seal around their body right here. Okay. So now, once you place it on to the patient, then you can just push your hands right through and you at least create a small barrier there. And you can do your intubation this. Um, you also have a very clear viewing window. This might be a little closer, more like this. Um, we designed this um, viewing angle because the flat ones, you often had glare from the overhead lights. Um, so this gives you a clear window to be able to see um, while you're conducting the intubation. Okay, once you're, you're done, then you can basically just remove the plastic wrap. Now, inside of the box, flip the box up, upside down, and you can use sterile wipes, alcohol wipes, and basically clean out all of the, uh, the crevices. We've uh, made this box the same way that you would make an acrylic aquarium. So it's watertight seals around all of the edges. Um, so you should be able to get your wipes in and around there. And uh, so after you clean it, um, our recommendation is that you go ahead and wrap it one more time and then you can store the wrap inside and now it's ready to go the next time that you need to use it.